Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Inks and I'm from ITS Electronics and today we're going to be checking out another drive and that drive is manufactured by Parker and that is their, uh, I believe it's their latest drive, maybe there's some more but this is the AC10 series drive where as usual we're going to be running through the three videos, possibly four, I haven't made that decision yet so uh, as usual will be a uh, three videos, the first one we're going to be looking at, at uh, setting up the drive in uh, local uh, control then we're going to commission it, look into parameters, all the connector blocks and everything, all the wiring. So we're going to be checking that out in the first video. And second video, again, we're going to be checking out uh, the 2-3 wire control and set, uh, using the external potentiometer. And in the third video, we're going to be using a setting up drive to run a uh, control the frequency with the up and down buttons and setting up the multi-frequency setup for it so uh, any related manuals anything any videos and anything i would believe you would benefit you in any possible way i will leave that in the description below so without further ado let's get started <music> Here we go, so it's all wired in, so as usual let's go through the wiring and all the terminals and uh, first we're going to look at is obviously the power goes in here between the earth line and the uh, uh, neutral which is uh, marked as L2 if you be if you would have three phases you would be uh, marked as a three uh, phases will be L1, L2 and L3 we got the PB done there for a breaking resistor and then we have a U, V and W those are the output uh, wires that will go to your motor right in the side in here where you have a rj45 uh, uh, connector where you can uh, able to connect your a uh, uh, cable to uh, get communications with a uh, software in a computer so and then let's have a look at the switches in here so this switch in here pmp and npn those are between sync and the source and the v and i are for a what sort of a analog input you're going to be using volts or an amps and this switch in here is sort of a, a switch that will determine your analog output so uh, do check out the manual of the combination what each means and when it comes down to terminals it's like a one straight a bank and all the markings are right here on a bottom so the this go through in a in the sequence t a t b and t c and those are going to be your relay outputs then uh, then you have another a uh, what they call multifunctional uh, output terminal which is going to be here d01 with 24v and then we have a cm which is going to be our control a wire for uh, controlling the digital inputs and uh, which we have a all the way to five of them which is quite nice generous i like it so and then from there on you have rest of the bank you have a for analog inputs and analog outputs we're going to be looking in those a lot more in depth in upcoming videos so the next one let's have a look at the a, the actual control panel itself so the control panel we have a start and a stop button m is the one that's going to enter you into a menu and the first uh, uh, number in the menu is f100 so uh, as you can see down there you have a you, you have a button here by clicking the stop button yeah you, it jumps between the G, uh, djt uh, on and off that means if you that is off you are able to change the hundred because uh, parker has nicely segregated them in hundreds and so, so as you read the manual they get like a made like a groups and you can quickly understand for which group you need to go so uh, that's pretty much that and once you're happy which group which which hundred you are in so I'll just click that one again and for the final a number if you want to reach it so that's for that now once you're happy with the parameter just go in enter it press enter change whatever you want to change and press enter again and it will leave the parameter and save it in the memory and that's pretty much it and once you want to leave and then you just uh, leave so quite pretty much straightforward nothing too too complicated pretty good so uh the next thing what we need to do we need to perform a factory reset and to do factory reset, what we need to do is go to the parameter 160. So let's do that. Let's go down there. So do that. Let's go to parameter 160. And we need to change that to 1. Enter it. Change it to 1. Press the enter again. And it will uh, change all uh, parameters how now just being as it returns back to 100 uh, uh, f160 it will revert all the change parameters back to factory reset and that's how we reset uh, ac 10 series drive
Next up will be our motor parameters. So let's go to a motor parameters in, in a uh, group 800. So uh, let's do that. So let's change that one to that. Let's go to 800. So and then change that one. Let's go. The first parameter we're going to enter is going to be 800 and 1. 801, if you enter near, that will be your kilowatt rating. In my case, it is 0.18 kilowatts, so that will be close as you can get it, 0.2, so that will be fine. So uh, the next one, it will be your motor rate of voltage. Uh, I am running single phase motor, uh, not uh, 230 volts in here, so on 220 volts. So that is good in here, depending on your country and what sort of voltages you operate anyway. Uh, the next one is going to be your current, which is going to be, my one is 1.1 amp. And the next one in here, which is 805, it's not really required, part of the, at least in the manual, it's not really required, but that's something to pay attention as well. It's uh, how many poles that your motor has. So if your motor has a, it's, it's on a 3000 RPM, then, then you're pretty sure that is your two pole motor, because my motor is 1400 RPM. I know that that one is a four pole, so do make do make sure you check uh, check that that is the case. So, uh, but I think I think it will automatically will tell you when if you change your RPM. So once you've done that, so that is yeah, because in here you would enter your RPM, and I'm sure it probably would tell you that the motor poles are not correct. Not sure, but yeah. So this is in this one you set up your RPM. Once you done that that's only thing is left now is to do the auto tune so to do the auto tune you need to go back to 800 so let me talk to you a little bit about that auto tune auto tune there's two options one is one and one is two the first one is a rotating tuning and the second one is two stationary tuning for the rotating tuning you need to make sure that they to disconnect the motor from the load so make sure there is no uh, load at all sometimes some manuals are saying that you are allowed to, to run with some form of load on it as long as it doesn't exceed 30 percent of a motor's capacity but uh here the actual parka is uh, that ruled that out at least it doesn't say anything in there they just outright say you must make sure that the motor is disconnected so in my case uh, i am gonna I'm, i have three motors so i'm gonna put down two so once you press enter and after that just press the start and he will start doing its uh, auto tune basically it just measures uh, uh the, the the resistances and things like that from the motor to there we go that was quick so that, ladies and gentlemen, is fully tuned up and ready to go drive. So the only thing now is left is to change a couple more parameters before we get started. And those parameters is a little bit of a complementary uh, parameters that I like to check before I get things uh, starting. There's some very interesting thing that uh, Parker has added to the manual. I haven't seen seen it before. Is how they name things and they add a thing like starting frequency as well as minimum frequency and then is have something like target frequencies and things like that. very interesting uh, something uh, i'm going to be playing around when it comes down in a future so the one thing i want to make sure that is is correct is f11 so let's go to uh, to 100 group let's check to make sure the f f11 is my max frequency it's 50 hertz yep that is fine, and let's check what's the minimum frequency. Minimum frequency is set to point, well, half half a hertz, so that's all right. So what's the starting frequency? It's something I've never seen other drives have it, but it's interesting. It's our starting frequency is zero. There we go. So and then other ones I usually want to check up on. It's my a uh, acceleration, which is uh, one one four. I'm going to change that. Can I do that? Oh, I can. Look at that. So we change that to one. So we enter that one and the acceleration as well. We're going to change that one to one. So here it goes. So uh, and that should be enough. What I need to check. Uh, I believe that should be sufficient of what I want to take the very frequency. Yeah, so everything else is pretty good to go. So pretty much your drive is uh, ready to roll. So the only thing you need to do is press the start. You change your frequency with the uh, buttons in here by holding it down. 
like a pressure sensitive or something, I'm not really sure. Interesting. Yeah, interesting how it works. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is how the drive is in a local uh, mode. It's got a little fan running right underneath. Not noisy whatsoever. It is it is the noise coming out of it, but it is, a bit, let's say, a tolerable noise or so. Not like so I have with some other drives and the noise is just unbearable. So it's good. So uh, other than that, ladies and gentlemen, this will be it for local run and uh, a... Uh, uh, local uh, commissioning and setup and auto tuning and things like that. So drive is ready to go. So in the next video we're going to look at how to do how to connect the AR control stations, which is going to be two three wire control stations. So uh, yeah. So if you like the video, plus the mash, smash that like. If you didn't, smash this like. Comment below any questions, anything you want to ask, do ask, and I will answer them as soon as I, as soon as I can and as accurate as I can. So Arna, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.